Hey everyone, uh, I've gotten a couple of messages. Uh, some of you said that you were a little bit confused about the homework, so I figured I had a few minutes, so I would try and make a quick tutorial video, let you know uh, what is expected and what I'm looking for. Um, so what I'm looking for here, uh, the homework has two different parts, both of them using slope intercept. And remember our slope intercept formula is y equals mx plus b. We said that m represents, that's the variable that represents slope, and b is the variable that represents the y-intercept. And that's really, that's where intercept, we said, means intersection, crossing. That's where our line that we're graphing crosses the y-axis. So our slope is always going to be written as mx. It's going to be, uh, depending on what value, what number we associate with, it's going to be some number, the coefficient multiplied by x. So it'll be something times x, like 3 times 3x, or 7 fifths x, or 92 billion x. Uh, and our y-intercept will be written as a constant. Remember, a constant is a number that does not have a variable. So the way in the slope-intercept formula, the slope is going to be the coefficient that is being multiplied by x, and the y-intercept is the constant that's off by itself. So let's start by looking here at, I'm not even gonna look at number one, I'm gonna look at number two because it's a little easier to, it's a little easier to figure this out with number two. Now with number two, I have y equals negative seven-fifths x plus three. Now remember, for slope, our slope here is our m. That's the coefficient, the number that we're multiplying by x. So in number two, I look for something that I'm multiplying by x, a coefficient next to the variable x. And in this one, my coefficient is negative 7 fifths. So negative 7 fifths. Doesn't look too great because again, I'm trying to write with just these two fingers. So our slope, our m, that's the, uh, so it's m equals, m is negative 7 fifths. Now, I also look in this equation for a constant, a number that is either being added or subtracted and it does not have a variable. And in this case, I have three. But in order to make sure that I have the correct, the fully correct answer, I need to look at this right here. I'm looking for the operation, either adding or subtracting. Now, since I'm adding three, that tells me that my slope intercept is going to be a, or my y intercept is a positive three. If I was subtracting three, then my y intercept would be negative three. But so I look at everything here going back. So for my first one, remember this is my M. And this positive three is my B. That's my y-intercept. For number three, I look first for, I'm looking for my slope. Remember my slope is a number, is, it is a coefficient that I'm multiplying by the variable x. And in this case, I look and I have a coefficient of three. So three is my slope but there's, there's nothing else here in my equation. What that tells me is that my y-intercept is zero. Because if I add anything to zero, this is the uh, additive identity property, if you add anything to zero, that number stays the same. So for this one, I do have a y-intercept, even though it's invisible. Just like if I, have, if I have a variable of x with nothing next to it, my invisible coefficient is one. 
And in this case, I don't have an invisible coefficient. I have an invisible constant, constant of zero. So that is these ones right here. I'm going to just erase this real quick because I want to show you what you should be doing for part two. So for part one, you were given the equation and you had to pick out which part of it is the slope, which part is the y-intercept. For part two, you're given a graph and from that graph, you need to then write this equation, y equals mx plus b. I started you off with y equals. So every time when you're looking at a graph and you're trying to figure out the slope and the y-intercept, you start at zero, zero, start at the origin, and then I'm gonna look for where this graph, where this line crosses the y-axis, and it crosses right here. So I've got, I go down one, so I know that my y-intercept is going to be negative one because if I start at zero, if I start at zero, zero, I count down to where it intersects, I have to go down one unit. All I'm looking for now is my slope. So starting at my, y, my y-intercept, I can go either way, but I'm going to look for the next point that intersects somewhere nicely. So I've got this one right here at point uh, that four, negative three. So in order to get from, I'll make, name this point A to point B, I have to go, I'm gonna change the colors here. So I go down one, two units. So I'm going in a negative direction. I'm going down two units. Now I'm even with point B. But in order for me to get to that, I did my rise. Now I have to do my run, which is one, two, three units. So I went down two units and then over three units in a positive direction. But since one of my directions was negative, that makes my whole slope negative. So I look at my graph here. I've got where it intersects at negative one, and then my slope is negative two thirds. So that leaves my equation as y equals negative two thirds x minus one. So if you have any more questions, please come and find me, but I hope that this was helpful. I hope this helps you at least understand what is expected for the homework today. Uh, all right, have a great rest of your day.